Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in detail about the internal treatment of water. It is one of the softening methods of boiler feed water. Softening methods means it is the process of removal of hardness producing salts from the water. So coming to the internal treatment of water, in general the hardness of water is mainly due to the presence of six different salts. Calcium bicarbonate, magnesium bicarbonate, calcium chloride, magnesium chloride, calcium sulfate and magnesium sulfate. So on the whole two cations are responsible for the hardness namely calcium and magnesium. Three anions are responsible for the hardness namely bicarbonate, chloride and sulfate. So through internal treatment of water an ion is prohibited. It will be stopped to exhibit its hardness in water by converting it into more soluble salt or by complexing it. So for example let us consider chloride. If the chloride is attached to calcium or magnesium then it results in the formation of calcium chloride and magnesium chloride and these salts are responsible for the hardness. At the same time if the chloride is attached to the sodium sodium chloride is formed and it is more soluble salt and hence it can be easily removed from the water. So in that way an ion is prohibited to exhibit its original character by converting it into the more soluble salt and the whole process is called as internal treatment of water. So internal treatment of water can be done by using different types of reagents. So depending upon the type of reagent used there are five different types of internal treatment of water. The first method is colloidal conditioning. In this colloidal conditioning they will use kerosene, tannin or agar agar as the colloidal conditioning substances. So whenever kerosene or agar agar is added to the hard water it selectively gets adsorbed on the hardness producing salts and thus results in the formation of non-sticky loose precipitate that means it avoids the formation of scale and results in the formation of sludge once sludge is formed it can be removed from the boiler water through blow down operation and the second method is phosphate conditioning so coming to the phosphate conditioning here by using sodium phosphate the hardness producing salts will be prevented to exhibit their original character. So whenever sodium phosphate is added it selectively reacts with calcium chloride and it results in the formation of calcium phosphate which is precipitated out from the water more readily and hence can be removed from the boiler water. So in that way hardness producing ions will be removed from the boiler water. In the similar way sodium carbonate can also be used. So whenever sodium carbonate is used it reacts with hardness producing salts and this precipitates calcium carbonate and this calcium carbonate is loose precipitate and hence it can be removed through blow down operation. In the similar way it is also possible to use calgan. Calgan means chemically calgan is sodium hexametaphosphate and this readily dissociates in water resulting in the formation of a complex ion. This complex ion readily attacks the hardness producing salt and results in the formation of more soluble complex and thus calcium which is responsible for the hardness can be removed from the water. So in this way the hardness producing cations will be removed from the hard water. And finally the internal treatment of the water can also be done by using sodium aluminate. So 
whenever the boiler water is treated with sodium aluminate initially this sodium aluminate reacts with water and results in the formation of sodium hydroxide and aluminium hydroxide it is the white gelatinous precipitate and readily precipitates out and it is capable of trapping the impurities present in the hard water coming to the sodium hydroxide it again attacks the hardness producing salts that means it is highly useful for the hydrolysis of magnesium chloride and thus results in the formation of magnesium hydroxide which is again a precipitate capable of trapping hardness producing salts and hence these precipitates can be easily removed from the boiler feed water through blow down operation so in that way it is possible to remove hardness producing salts from the boiler water through internal treatment of water if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day